So the Philadelphia era ends for you, but before you go to Phoenix, there's this little matter to take care of during the summer uh, playing on the dream team. During the dream team was very important for me psychologically because at this point, uh, it, 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 I really needed it because you start to think maybe I do suck. You know, just because your team is bad. Yeah, you know, you do. You start thinking like, because listen, when your team's doing well, you're getting a lot of credit. Everybody's patting you on the back. But when your team sucks, everybody kicking you in the butt. So I'm starting to think maybe I do suck. And then the NBA, when I got the call, and it, uh, I was like, wow, I can play. I still can play. Chuck Davis said something to me that was one of the greatest compliments I ever got. He says, watching you play every day, I think you're the second best basketball player in the world. I said, there's somebody better than me. <laughs> and we joked about that. And I tell people this day, that's the best compliment I've ever gotten in my life. But I was secretly saying to myself, I can beat Michael Jordan if I get to, I got help now. When you got back, now it's back to work yes. and, and you're in Phoenix. Yes. And, um, and you're the man right there. How did you, how did you assert your place on that team and where there was no doubt that this is Charles Barkley's team? Well, when I got there, this guy says, well, you know, this Dan and Kevin's team. I said, well, until I walked through the door. Apparently, your confidence had been restored. Oh, yeah. My confidence is full-blown at this point. And I said, hey, I I, I, it's going to be cool to play with Dan and Kevin. And I said, um, but this is my team. I'm the best player. I, says, I said, I actually think I'm the best player in the world, to be honest with you. Because I was having a conversation with Cotton Fitzsimmon. And he says, what do you think? I says, well, I'm going to get us to the finals. I said, ain't nobody out here in the West can touch me. I says, Does, I said, I got help now. I says, I got help. I'm going to get us to the finals. I says, I want a shot at Michael Jordan, mano a mano. You got some crazy numbers in those playoffs in 93. Because yeah. you were true to your word. You did yeah. You did get them to the finals. But, I mean, games like 43, 15, and 10. Yeah. Games of 44 and 24. That's and the best game I've ever played. Against Seattle. Yes, because I remember, you know, being a leader of a team, Everybody's looking at you. And I remember one of my really good teammates, Frank Johnson. I, I pulled him aside, flying back to Phoenix for game seven. That's what we're one game away from the finals. And I said, Frank, what can I do? Because everybody's a little nervous and a little dejected. And I said, what can I do to get everybody's spirits up? He says, I'm not worried about anybody's spirits but yours. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? He says, Charles. You never been to the finals. He says, all you got to do is lead us, play the best game you ever played, and we're going to the finals. Was that the best game you ever played? Yeah, that's the best game I played, 44 and 24. I was like, I wasn't going to let us lose that day.